What's up, Treasure Xers? How you doing? Hope you're well. Thank you for checking out my channel. I'm Toy Insanity. This is Treasure X Tuesday, episode 106. This is indeed the full set, complete set review, season five, Sunken Gold. Very cool. Very excellent. Thumbs up, smash like. Let's get into it. The set is only. 14 hunters, or is it 15? And two beasts. I guess we can call them beasts. Two beasts come with the playset, two exclusive hunters that come with the playsets. Okay, very cool. Technically, I had the full set. I had the full set back in the first look video, episode 103. I bought a full case at one time, plus the two playsets. The full case. We'll get you the full set. The case is 18. The set is 12. We had all 12 figures and only 14 packs. So far, only two duplicates. Pretty insane to get so few duplicates. Pretty insane The Moose finally. They finally put them all out in a single wave. Single case, single wave. Get them all at once. I still have the four extra packs. We'll open those in future videos. All right, I'm able to store everything in two cases. This case has the two figures from the two playsets and one of the factions, one of the four factions in the regular 12. Plus, you know, here's one here's the very bronzed out treasure chest, a regular treasure chest. The treasures this time, which are little critters. Oh, what are these? Go Goldie Ox. Who did those come with? The probably the gold divers. They'll all have the same treasure. Angry anglerfish. You always get this with one of the factions. What? Maybe the wait, maybe, maybe uh those fishy guys there. The one hit plunderers. We got a crab called Gold Claw that probably comes with these guys. Let's see, punks, and what is the fourth thing? The fishbone treasure fish. Well, maybe that's with all these. The bottom dwellers, okay? Now, when you buy the shark, treasure shark playset, you can get one of four. Any given one of those four treasures. I keep wanting to call them beasts or mini beasts, something like that. But these are the treasures, and they are yellow. So maybe, <laughs> maybe you want to seek out all four of those things in yellow. Oh, I got the cannon in here. I got the little coins in here from the treasure ship. The accessories to the treasure ship, such as the wheel and the anchor. And... So far, two gold treasures, only four in this series. Diver doubloons must be with the gold divers. Punk pesos with the sea punks. Plunder rounds with one hit plunderers. And the deep sea stash with the bottom dwellers. This is the punk peso. This is the deep sea stash. Will I go after those other two? Who knows? Who even knows? All right, in this case is the main dudes. The first three factions. Boom. Okay, give me a second. I'll pop everybody's heads on. And we'll review all, all the figures. Thumbs up, BRB. All right, thank you for the thumbs up. The figures are assembled. Let's begin. Let's start over here with the checklist starts. The Gold Divers. We don't even have the guy called Gold Diver, but we do have Gold Crown back again. He has his crown as part of his diving apparatus, a sort of bat axe weapon 
and he's a water filled figure said to be ultra rare but I, I, got, I got him twice I already got him twice in the same case does that seem like ultra rare to you I don't know but you can see there is water actual trapped liquid water in his dome piece very cool very weird gold crown back again X's back again on the same team as King Gold Crown. Very weird. You see he has a crown. Also, he has a very puny looking weapon. It's just a mini anchor on a chain. Wah, wah. Maybe they're uh, making fun of his ineffectiveness as a leader. Maybe he's a Wile E. Coyote Fall Guy type character. But he has a little, a, a little devil tail in his cape. Kind of a pearlescence to his plastic sheen. And that is the other duplicate I've gotten so far. Axis for this series. Sir Octo also has a crown. All three of the gold divers have crowns. Very mysterious figure here. Obviously derived from an octopus. He seems to have an oxygen tank making this aquatic creature seem like he's up on the land now what happened to gold crown and X's? why are they on the same team why does it seem to me like they're being led by this guy all three of these guys are called gold divers i can't now perceive this guy as being an enemy to those two even if they are on the same team i have to now think of all three of these being on the same team they have the same name they're on the same team same team same faction same squad sir octo you gonna keep your secrets or what? All right, I move. Uh, I'll, I'll move this way on the checklist. It says ultra rare snapping figures, one hit plunderers. Very whimsical series overall, and some fantastic figures. Yeah, I, I like the whimsy, guys. I like the whimsy. It's not all about battling. I mean, these guys are named. They're, they're puns on names of famous real-life rappers. And these uh, sea punks have puns of names of na punny names of punk rock dudes. Okay, let's begin with DJ Frenzy. All right. I figure he's just a goldfish. Fish stick from Fortnite. Watch, wa watch out. We got a goldfish. S-R on his hat. S-R. Did they originally have a different name or something? C rappers? I don't know. What's up with SR and the S on his chain? That is definitely an S, not a dollar sign. Love his collars, love his look, and I even like the snapping head gimmick. All right. Checklist. Come back, please. Thank you. Grandmaster Splash. All gold teeth. He's a shark, dude. He's got headphones. A sideways hat because the sun's in his eyes. And uh, and an axe. A wicked axe. Uh, a tracksuit. He's a gulpnik. Grandmaster Splash. Name derived from Grandmaster Flash. Look it up. All right, I love the sculpt. I'll probably rank him at the end. ASAP Crocky. Punny play on the rapper ASAP Rocky. Okay, could you open your mouth? You there? You, there it is. There. They're very cool. He has a sort of like homemade looking axe. X on his chain. Some cool blinged out bracelets, and a took. A toboggan, a beanie, scully cap. Very cool. Very whimsical. All right, let's look at the sea punks. Iggy Lagoon. Kind of like Iggy Pop. Got a lust for life. Got a lust for life. Okay. And this guy. Ah, oh, you see the blue on his head in, uh, in the image. You dunk him in some c c cold water. He gets all shivery and frozen up top and he, he 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 gets that blue appearance 
All right. Iggy Lagoon with the with the with the weird looking trident. Very pink, very poppin' pink. Johnny Rotten Crab. Johnny Rotten. He is a famous punk rock dude. Look it up. All right, he's got uh you know all the all all the crab features. Eyes on eye stalks, pinchers, and uh, yeah, and a weapon derived from a pincher. He's got an X on a belt buckle. Sid Vicious, great name from the punk drive from the punk rocker Sid Vicious. He's got a club with all kinds of spikes and some headphones and a trident on his belt buckle. All right, Sid Fishes. Very cool. All right, the other ones over here. Ultra Rare Water Squirter. From the Bottom Dwellers, it's Gold Puff. You could put a little water in his head and squirt it out. He's got a fishy tail instead of legs. Some gold gloves. And a mace. Mace on a chain. And he's, uh, he's one of many Treasure X characters that have a, some sort of eye patch. Steel, eel, bottom dwellers. Very fishy looking dude. Gold bracelets, gold belt, and a big fish hook on a pole type weapon. His uh, figure number is number 12. He'd be the last one. If you put them in figure order, this is 11. But the last guy on the checklist, Bling Shady. Got the Yeezys, got the shutter glasses. He's got the anglerfish lure. And a fishy fin arrow pointed type spear. Okay, well I mentioned before that in real life, in the depths of the ocean, it's only the female anglerfish that has this lure. The dimorphism of the, of the male anglerfish is way different. He's just a tiny little fish that attaches for life to the body of the female. He is very tiny compared to her size, and he does not have any sort of lure. Of course, the lure is used to... It's even bioluminescent on some anglerfish species. It will draw in a small fish because they're like, what is that? Is that some kind of little shrimp or something? And they, they think they're about to get a meal. Suddenly, they're the meal for someone like Bling Shady. Okay, two figures from the play sets. Okay, we uh, theorized in episode 105 that this could possibly be Captain Goldeye from series one. Ultimately, it's up to you. Moose did not give him a name on the package or inside the package or on any kind of supplemental material such as a cartoon. But he comes with a sword and a gun and even a little dagger. A little dagger's down here. Let's, let's see that dagger, my dude. Okay, I think that's a great playset. Great value for $35. Check out the last episode for my review. Okay. But we do, we do get a gun. We get that revolver old school blunderbuss gun and i think it's the first gun well look here's the thing here's the thing with the aliens the aliens i always think that's just like pew 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 pew, pew. laser guns okay i kind of don't like that there's a gun now because a gun is such an advantage over every single figure that's existed before this because they just have melee weapons they just have handheld weapons or even you know even a spear is such a short range weapon compared to a bullet but, you know, he's a pirate, and it's kind of a supplemental accessory anyway. When I display him on my shelf, he's, he's going to just be holding the sword. So, I, you, you know, the gun in the place, that's not a big deal. And then this guy came with the treasure shark. Yeah, he should be holding this big old spear that you can actually fire. Well, I guess it's kind of another gun of swords. Fire from the, uh, from the shark. This crazy shark up here. But he's cool. I theorize that this could be... Goldus Maximus returning from Series 1 because they have the exact same eyes, face, nose, mouth, teeth. Okay. There's your two bonus bangers.
from the two play sets. But who is this guy? Who are all three of these goats? Okay. This is the shark from the treasure shark. What's up? How you doing? Thumbs up, my dudes. Thumbs up the video so we can make more. Very cool. Okay, so that guy can ride on his back. Well, you know, essentially any of them could ride on his back. You could mount this little thing here and fire the trident spear. Okay, that's very cool. But he doesn't have a name either. I want to call him Goldtooth. Okay, Captain, not Captain, King Goldtooth. How about this could be King, uh, King Octo or something. The octopus he is a detachable beast from the treasure ship. Most excellent place it. But if you're determined, you can also detach this guy from the ship. This is the merman from the masthead of the treasure ship. You can see I pried him off. I have him holding the flags from the back. The arms are articulated. You could have him holding a spear, a gun, uh, the anchor. I don't know. But of course, pried him off and I had to give him some punk rock hair because, uh, you know, there's a big gash down his head from being on this ship. But I think that hair looks quite nice. And I'm gonna I'm gonna give him a name. I'm gonna call him Goldtail, King Goldtail. Very cool. A little bigger than the other guys, but guys, we have our first Treasure X Mermaid or Merman. I like it. I'm I'm happy that I took the time to pry it off. But speaking of Treasure X, arts and crafts. Crafts insanity. Look what I did here. Okay, this is like a nightlight. I filled the bottle that the shark comes in with those string lights. This this is yeah, you, you you can't tell what's going on in, in the bright sunshine. It's a it's like 102 today, but this is this looks amazing at night. I just threw some lights in there, and then uh, you're gonna love this. Okay, take your bottles, your broken, sunken gold bottles. And put them on string lights. Okay, this pack of lights was like a dollar at the Dollar Tree. And I was able to put 10 on there. And those look awesome too. Decorate decorate your room in the Treasure X style. Treasure X decor, crafts, and sanity. All right, well, I think that's about it. We had a, we had a fun time with this series. Great series overall. You know, Fire vs. Ice kind of seemed like it had too many figures because, uh, you know, they did 18. They threw in those two factions with the horrible paint jobs. This one almost seems like it didn't have enough. Only 12 figures. Ah, they definitely could have gone for 18 here if they kept up with this kind of creativity. Very whimsical. Love this set. And, uh, you know, I thought, I thought it would have been bigger. Honestly, maybe they can do a Sunk of Gold too. I think the sh I think when I first saw the concept at the Toy Fair videos, I was like, okay, there could be easily three shark people, a whole faction of shark dudes. You know, there's there's typically in the toy lines like Imagine X and Roblox when they do shark people. There's a there's a you know a great white shark. There's always a hammerhead shark. The third guy could have been something like a tiger shark. Let's say crustaceans. There definitely should there could have been a whole family, a faction of three crustaceans. That's so easy to do a crab a shrimp and a lobster done i didn't really expect to see a gator but a, you know it could have been a whole crocodilian uh, faction you do that alligator a crocodile and a caimian boom many more fishy ideas we've done a catfish we could have done a blobfish could have been a whole faction of squid octopus people you know i also thought there would be more returners Maybe six returners and 12 new fishy dudes. Fish and crabs and vertebrates. I mean, we could have done a, a guy with a starfish face. You know, very cool. Very, I'm very happy with this. Let's, uh, let's do some rankings. 
who is my favorite faction here? Favorite faction. All three guys in the faction considered. I'm going to go with the one hit wonders. Love the way the faces and the teeth look on those guys. Second favorite faction will probably go with the Sea Punks. Loving those absolute bright colors. Third favorite faction will be the Bottom Dwellers. And last favorite faction is Gold Divers. Okay, individual figures. Top number one figure for this series. I am going to pick Bling Shady. Is it a lady? I don't know. It's extra shady either way. That is just a cool looking figure. Great colors. Second favorite for the whole series. I'm going to go with Grandmaster Splash. Love the tracksuit, the hat, the gold teeth. Yes. Okay. Third favorite for this entire Sunken Gold series, Iggy Lagoon. Love the pink, the very fishy face. That figure will just pop out in any collection. Fourth favorite. I think I might just go with Sir Octo. I wish he could hold his weapon better. Clever idea. You know I love purple. And that guy's just so mysterious. Fifth favorite for Sunken Gold. It's going to be one of the... Yeah, 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 okay. ASAP Crocky, fifth favorite. And then DJ Frenzy, sixth favorite. Seventh favorite for the entire series. Johnny Rotten Crab. You did it, man. You made it into the top... Seven. Eighth favorite. Yep. Gold Puff. I'm trying to think, would I have placed him higher if he didn't have the head? I don't think so. I think he's eight no matter what. These guys are the two weakest of the fish dudes. I'll pick him as nine. Would I put one of these guys above Steel Eel? No, I'm going to go ahead and go with Steel Eel. New characters for the win. And should I include these guys? If I include these guys, they are down this far. So that's 10. I'll just say 11, 12, 13. The newest version of... Gold Crown this is my least favorite, but it's still overall not even that bad. Oh, and should I even include this? Can you believe it? No, you can't include that. All right, I'm Toy Insanity. Thank you so much for checking out my video. Thank you for the thumbs up, and I'll see you next Tuesday. Goodbye.